Hi, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about the iPhone SE and just tell you about my experience with the iPhone SE and why I think it's the best phone I have ever had in my entire life. So I actually have two of these. This video right now is actually being recorded with an iPhone SE. That's why I have two boxes here, right? I kept the box. I'm not sure which box this one came in. Um, let me show you my other one. So this is one of my iPhone SEs. It's got a case, which I also got on Amazon. And I'm gonna show you my other phone. So in order to do that, I am going to record the video now with this phone. Again, this current video that you're watching is being recorded with an iPhone SE. Everything you hear is coming from the iPhone SE. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to this phone. Check this out. Okay, I am back. And so this is my other phone. This is the phone I normally use to talk, to make phone calls, to send text messages. The one you saw previously is the one I'm using to record now, right? And they're both iPhone SEs. They're both second generations. You might say, why in the world do I have two? Again, uh, I needed an extra phone so I could use it as a camera. So this is my personal phone. This is the one that actually has service. Um, so I can make phone calls with this. I can send text messages with this. And the other one no longer has service. Um, so here's some different boxes. I'm not sure uh, which box this one came in. By the way, this case is an otter box, if you're curious, which is great. I can drop it and so far so good. I got it on Amazon, by the way. So if you get an iPhone SE, make sure to get a case, um, plenty of great cases. So let's open this box so we can take a look. Yeah, so nothing really in here. I just kept the boxes and then here is the other iPhone box. It looks like it comes with, with this here. It looks like you get some little ear stuff, ear pods, things, which I've never really used. I haven't really had it. Actually, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't really need them. I'm not really gonna use these. I do need a new headset, but you see, this is, I believe this is called a lightning connector. So it connects to, it connects to this piece here, right? It's a special connector for the iPhone. So. If you're new to iPhones, you will soon discover that you can't use your old phone chargers, right? You need to have uh, a special charger uh, for your, your iPhone. Let me show you, let me show you my charger just to show you what I mean. Okay, so here, here is my charger. So this is not um, the iPhone charger that is, you know, by Apple. This is actually all uh, Amazon basic stuff. So this is the Amazon Basics, um, I guess I, don't, I forgot what it's called, but basically you can plug in a USB here, a USB connection, and then you plug this into your wall, okay? And I like how it does that, you see that? You can put it away, so if you're traveling, which I travel a lot, um, well, sometimes I can do this and put it in my backpack and it's not gonna poke me, okay? And then this is the Amazon Basics USB to lightning connector. And so basically what I do is I use this to charge uh, to charge my iPhone. So I just do that and I plug it in and it's good to go. So really, really useful, really, really nice. So the iPhone is a great phone. I'm gonna go ahead and switch phones so we can look at the other one again. Hi, I'm back. So this is the one I normally use to record. And um, great camera, I think. I mean, you be the judge. Uh, great sound, again, I think you be the judge because this video in its entirety is being recorded with either this phone or uh, the one I'm holding in my hand or the one that's actually being filmed. And they're both iPhone SE second generation. So one of the big reasons I got the iPhone, again, was the camera, right? That was for me, uh, I did tons of research. I spent hours reading and comparing. Uh, I mean, just so much research. And I decided to go with the SE. I almost got the 8, but the SE is actually better than the 8. It's got a better camera. You can get a better iPhone than this one, right? You can, there's newer iPhones, but they cost more money, right? And I think this is an unbelievable value uh, for what you're getting here, right? You're getting an incredible phone with an incredible camera. And again, that's why I have to adjust for the camera. Watch this, if I open it, it won't, see it says try again. So if I put my finger there, it recognizes, whoops, it recognizes my fingerprint and I can unlock it, which is really cool. And it's got all kinds of apps. Um, if you go to the app store, you can get apps for your iPhone. And I've noticed that a lot of the apps um, on, on iPhone, you have to pay. There are some free ones. 
um, but you do have to pay. In fact, whenever you download an app, it makes a little sound like cha-ching, like, like it's charging you, even though it's free. So um, I had heard that Apple is that way. They they try to make you pay for everything people say. And it is true. Um, they do have way more pay apps. It feels like most of the apps on uh, Apple products require you to pay, whereas on Android, everything is a little bit more free. Um, so the transition from, from Android to iOS, which is what uh, Apple uses, uh, is, is, is a big one, right? But it's not so bad. I am still barely, you know, learning how to use it. I can make phone calls, texts, and I make videos with this phone. So um, it's a great phone overall. If you're, if you're thinking about getting either a new iPhone or maybe you're a new iPhone user, I think this is a good choice because of the price. I mean, um, you can get this for a fraction of the cost. Uh, of what a new one actually costs. And again, I would also recommend that you get a case. Um, this case here is okay. I got this on Amazon. Um, it's all right. Um, and I got a screen protector. It cracked, but I got a three pack. There's a crack somewhere. I don't really see it. Yeah, it's a hairline crack right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's really, really small. But it's, in the, it's on the screen protector and not uh, the actual screen. And the other case I have uh, is a more expensive case. It's the OtterBox but it's also it's also a better case. So my advice is if you if you want an iPhone, get this one. I, th I think you won't be disappointed because it's not going to break you. It's not going to cost tons of money. I mean, it's still expensive, but like it's way cheaper than the newer iPhones. And you're getting the newer one of the newer chips, right? So again, compared to the iPhone 8, um, this one is far far superior. One concern you might have with this phone is one that I had and that I spent a long time struggling with before deciding to spend money on this phone because, you know, it does cost some money, even though it's inexpensive compared to other iPhones, it's still a considerable amount of money. And I have two, so I had to buy two of them. So I really had to do a lot of research on this phone um, is the size, right? It's a pretty small phone. Uh, and most of the other phones nowadays are bigger. Like my other phone, my previous one was an Android. I don't even remember what it was. I think it was uh, one of the not so good versions of the Moto phones. And Moto makes great phones, but it wasn't one that was great. It was an older one. And so I was concerned that it was smaller. It was going back to an age of smaller phones, right? Back in the day, people had smaller phones and the phones have been getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, worry not. Um, this phone's a good size. You should be able to type stuff. Um, it's not going to be an issue. Um, the size is is pretty good. So I think the size is fine. I don't think it's too small. I've adapted to it quite well. I'm very, very happy with this phone. For example, here's the text messaging app. So I'm just going to press here, just randomly type, this is a test. LOL. So very easy to type. Uh, it's not too small. Um, I love this iPhone, right? So it's it's pretty easy to type, um, very, very simple to use. Um, so yeah, I think if you're looking for for a good phone that you can use that has a great camera, um, all kinds of great features, and is super affordable and has one of the newer chips, I think the iPhone SE is, is a really solid choice uh, for anyone looking for an iPhone. I mean, I think it's so good that I bought two. <laughs> so I keep thinking maybe I should upgrade because, you know, there are there are better iPhones in this, right? But they just cost so much money. They cost a lot more than this one. So I don't think I'm going to upgrade yet. Um, but for now, I think this is a, a, an incredible option for anyone, again, who is either trying to upgrade from an older iPhone or or looking to get into the iPhone you know, world as a first-timer like me. So my first iPhone, and I bought two of them. I loved it so much, I bought two. So I can see why people love Apple, right? Because they make awesome products. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck and take care.